Hello, reInvent 2018. Who's having a great time out there? How could you help but have a great time in fabulous Las Vegas? It's been fantastic so far here at reInvent. And I'll tell you what, folks, you are in for a treat because in just a few moments, we have for you the final race, the championship race of Deep Racer 2018. Now, as I'm sure you're aware, Deep Racer was unveiled right here in this very hall just yesterday, and already thousands or hundreds of developers, close to a thousand developers, have already gotten hands-on with this incredible technology. We had over 11 hours of racing yesterday to try and weed the field down to just three finalists that hopefully at the end of this race here in just a few moments we'll get to hoist this beautiful Deep Racer Cup and be crowned champion of Deep Racer 2018. Before we bring our finalists onto the stage, though, let's take a quick look at some of the highlights from all of our racing activity yesterday at the MGM Grand Arena. I'm excited to announce the launch of AWS Deep Racer, which is a fully autonomous 118th scale race car driven by reinforced memory. Does that look fun or what? I'll tell you, we had a great time with all the developers who came through the MGM Grand yesterday. So many intense competitors who really wanted to get into the nuts and bolts, the nitty gritty of this fantastic technology. But we could only have three finalists. So without further ado, let's welcome our finalists onto the stage, beginning with our fastest qualifier from preliminaries yesterday. He hails from Nashville, Tennessee. He's a software engineer for Assurin. Please welcome to the stage, Grant Clark! Welcome, Grant. Good luck to you. Let's bring up our second finalist. He is the founder of Jigsaw XYZ. He hails from London, England. Please give a nice round of applause to Rick Fish. Congratulations, Rick, and good luck to you. And our final contestant, he originally hails from India, but he now calls Omaha, Nebraska home, a software architect for Database USA. Please welcome Sagat Sankarabatla. Here they are, ladies and gentlemen, your three finalists that will be taking to the track in just a few moments. Before we welcome them onto the speedway, however, we do have one other dignitary to introduce. It would not be a motorsports event without someone to wave the checkered flag. And for those duties, please welcome to the stage the GM for Artificial Intelligence for AWS, Matt Wood. All right, contestants, let's have you come on into the track. Best of luck, and may the fastest developer win. Into the corner, folks, and we'll walk through the format. For those of you who uh, are unaware, the way this is going to work, each of these contestants will have the opportunity to do one lap. The fastest lap time is going to be the champion here in a few short minutes. So, why don't we go ahead and get things started and bring up our first competitor, Grant. Grant, please come to the starting line and take your place. Good luck to you and your deep racer. The back wheels are on the line. Our first competitor is about to go. And with that, let's go ahead and cue the countdown. Three, two, one. And he's off, the race is on. Grant, a little bit slow off the line, but you know what we saw in our preliminaries yesterday? Slow but steady was a pretty good strategy for this race. Grant right now making his way down the Sahika Strait into this technical double apex complex that we like to call Malia's Triumph. It's this left-hander that is coming up to now. The deep racer hugging that inside line. 
coming through this difficult part. Uh-oh. Now he is able to correct it there and get the car back on track. That's one of the trouble spots we've seen all week long. Now into this right-hand corner. You'll notice it is the only right-hand corner on the track here at our speedway. Couldn't quite keep it on there, but Grant quick on the spot. Up to 48 seconds already here for Grant. Got to keep it out of the wall. Right back on track, just two more corners to go for Grant. Coming up on one minute elapsed. Grant along that dotted yellow line. Let's bring him home to the finish. Checkered flag is out. Your time, 106.04. 106.04, that is the benchmark time that our two other contestants now are going to try and have to beat. So Rick, you're up next. Try to keep those butterflies in check. Got a big piece of hardware waiting for our champion. Rear wheels on the start line. Let's begin our countdown timer. Three, two, one, go! A little bit cleaner of a start this time for Rick. It's going to be critical to see the car get through this opening sequence. That's where we saw some problems for Grant a little while ago. Again, this is the Sahika straight, the longest straightaway on the racetrack into Malia's Triumph. Now that right-handed corner that I mentioned a few moments ago, look at this. This is looking good. 25 seconds elapsed and a strong start here for Rick. Can he make this right-handed corner? Oh, no. Now back on track. This corner, that right-hander, it's the most challenging because it is the only right-handed turn on the course, and it's going to be named for our champion here today. Just one more quarter to go, 46 seconds. The time to beat 106.04. Across the line, 51.50, there it is. A new track record, Rick. The Formula One fan channeling his inner Max Verstappen with a fantastic lap there. Still, one more to go, Saket. Best of luck to you. Maybe this track is getting faster as it rubbers up, we'll see. Saket to the start finish line now. Let's get our countdown timer on. Here we go. Three, two, one, go! Go! Here we go, all right. On the way down the Sahika Strait, still plenty of time to come up for, make up for that false start. Impressive stuff from this technology. This has all been developed in the virtual world. Multiple hours of training in the simulator for these cars to try and prepare them for the real world. That is the challenge, and that's your challenge as we look ahead to 2019. Coming through Malia's Triumph now, 32 seconds a lap. Well, I wonder how Rick's feeling right now. He's got the time to beat. A little iffy, he says. Nice smooth sailing here through the right-handed corner that might be named after Rick before this is all said and done. Two more quarters to go. Picking up the pace now through turn, the second to last turn, the final straightaway, 55 seconds. This one's going to be close, but it's going to go to Rick. Saket fast it up for second. Grant, our second runner up. But Rick is our champion. Congratulations, guys. How about a round of applause for our competitors, yeah? Let's go ahead and bring out our podium finishers. Matt Wood will be presenting the trophies. We'll start with our second runner-up. He was the first one out on the track. Grant, why don't you come on out here and accept your trophy? A round of applause for Grant, folks. Well done, Grant. Photo op now. And go ahead and step off to the side when you're done posing for the cameras. Saketh, a very close run thing. Just seven seconds off the mark set by Rick. Congratulations. Second place to Saketh. But there can only be one grand champion. And that honor goes to Rick. Come on out, Rick. There he is. The fastest developer in the room. And look at that trophy. That's the real deal. <laughs> I 
Great stuff, guys. Congratulations to all three of the finalists. And thank you all so much for coming out and being such an involved audience for that presentation. This really was a showcase for this technology, but this is just the tip of the iceberg. As I'm sure you remember during the keynote address yesterday, the Deep Racer League 2019 was also unveiled, and that's gonna give you folks a chance to compete at 20 different AWS events throughout the world starting next year, all culminating, of course, with another championship race right back here in Las Vegas at reInvent 2019. So between now and then, make sure you're ordering your Deep Racer car, test it, tune it, maybe enter some of the preliminary races, and we might just be seeing you up on stage and possibly be crowned Deep Racer Champion 2019. Thanks so much.